Hello, uh, Trev here. Just an update on air source heat pumps. So a few people have been um, watching the videos and asking questions about it. You can hear it's just sort of worming away a little bit there. It's outside the front of my house. Um, so a few people have had them in their gardens. Do you want to say hello, Romeo? <laughs> um, so some people have them in their back garden, sorry. Um, but I've had mine in the front. Um, noise has been um, very very minimal um, on the very cold days in winter um, it does work harder so it is a little bit um, a little bit louder um, but it's not um, yeah it's not too bad it, it is a noise and in my um, bedroom is where the sort of cylinder is and that's a, a little bit of a noise um, and was more in the heat in the in the cold weather but um, it was absolutely fine I remember some of the other videos people were saying oh well it's all very well doing a doing a video when it's warm but what about when it's cold and um, I don't know if people have had bad experiences of heat pumps but for me um, it's coped with the entire winter so I've had it for I don't know if it's eight months now something like that so it's been through an entire winter lots of frosts um, didn't deal with snow but there was quite a few minus temperatures and um, the other thing that comes up is cost um, is it worth it so um, because councils are putting these heat pumps in now and taking all of the installation cost so um, first of all if you're a homeowner and you're converting from gas there is a boiler upgrade scheme which is seven and a half thousand pounds um which you can get off the the heat pump and um, which is pretty much the entire cost not quite the entire cost of a heat pump like mine so that's really good you do have to do upgrades um to make it sort of suit some homes things like wall insulation um and double glazing which most houses have double glazing um a lot of houses have cavity wall insulation as well the other one is loft, loft insulation and um, radiators. So the radiators have to be sort of a certain sort of coverage to make it so they um, it can heat the inside of the property. Um, the idea of a heat pump is it kind of maintains a sort of a more consistent temperature inside. So if you've only got sort of a couple of sort of single radiators, you might need to replace some radiators. So obviously that's all cost if you're thinking about getting it. But because councils are sort of um, looking to fund some of their their properties and um, people are asking me about the actual cost of the running of it. And my experience is that it is cheaper than what I was doing on gas. Um, um, but also they are now creating some different tariffs on different energy companies. It's a little bit of a minefield because obviously these energy companies know that this is a technology that's sort of on the increase. So they're all kind of fighting for competition, which is a good thing in a way because you get different tariffs sort of competing with each other. So Octopus are a really good um, energy supplier who do sort of a variable rate tariff. So you can heat your house sort of at a time where not many people use electricity and it's cheaper. So um, that obviously takes the cost um, down. So if you have a, a variable rate um, um, price for your electricity. Um, British Gas have just sort of, so they're trialing a new um, tariff which a few of us are on in in Rose Hill which I think will be released probably next year just to collect data but obviously British Gas are a massive um, energy supplier um, it seems a little bit contradictory because obviously we're trying to come off gas but British Gas are obviously seeing that um, enough people are coming on to this sort of different um, heating source that they want to be in on be in on it so if they um, then train their engineers for example to do installs that's going to be very um, good for the country in terms of kind of rolling out this technology if it's used more and also the coming off gas so obviously gas boilers are being phased out the government keep changing the date so um, um, I can't remember the exact date now but it keeps on getting kicked down the road but it's only a few years away where gas boilers will be phased phased out okay so <laughs> Remy has got such a long bushy tail <laughs> I've been out all day. Oh, I'll give you some Romeo time. But yeah, all in all, if you have the opportunity for heat pump, a heat pump in your property, um, then yeah, do drop a comment if you need more information. But I, I think it's been a really good, a good investment for me. My, my boiler was very old. So that's another thing to consider. If you've just got a new boiler, then that might not be ideal timing for you. But if you've got a boiler that's sort of already a little bit old anyway, then that might be a good, a 
a good thing to do because it's a new technology. And like I said, I don't really understand um, the comments. Some people were commenting about it not um, providing heat, but certainly I only know from the people that I've uh, met that have heat pumps and from my own personal experience, it's been extremely warm, extremely hot, extremely reliable and um, cheaper than what I was doing before. So all pluses in that sense. The only downside I would say, and being honest about this, is the little noise. But uh, as a musician, um, I think I'm a little bit more noise sensitive than some. Um, there are different ways around it. So you can have quiet mode, you can sort of have it on at different times. And like I say, it's only really um, been sort of louder when it's been very cold. So you're not likely unless you're <laughs> unless you're me and you're into your cold water therapy <laughs> um, likely to maybe sit outside near it um, on a cold day anyway but um, but that's just the way the way it is um, so it's it works harder in um, in the cold weather obviously because it's got to do more do more work so now it's just sort of a little kind of purr and you get used to it I mean obviously um, gas heating systems also make noise so it's not like you're comparing to a, a noiseless system um gas system so some someone was saying like oh what if there's a power cut your um your power wouldn't work which is is true but also a gas <laughs> a gas system wouldn't necessarily work either because it wouldn't ignite and you know so there's that thing um the project in rose hill which is part of what i've been doing with the um rose hill and low um rose hill niffley low carbon group they um updated the kind of the power um power kind of points so a lot of houses could get get it done at the same time but obviously if everyone got this technology at once the the pressure on the national grid would um wouldn't be able to cope so it's sort of a case of like trialing the technology um getting more people using that so it sort of displaces the the the, the need for um gas and yeah i saw where was it um some new builds in um in the Cotswolds had heat pumps in Morton and Marsh, which was really good to see. Not many new builds have things like solar panels and um, you know new technologies, which is a bit of a shame because that's the perfect time to put it in, really. Um, also, a travel lodge um, near Farringdon. We were staying in. I kind of had a quick look around the back, but fairly new. But it was all heat heat pumps, which I was really pleased to see. Um, I still see new builds that don't have any solar panels, and you know I'm imagining they're having gas boilers in, which is just ridiculous. But sort of certainly sort of some houses are more appropriate to getting a new heating system than others um like i say if you've got a really old system and you, you think you need to replace it in the next few years anyway it might be worth looking at the government sort of subsidies that are out at the moment for um for the heat pumps and um, that might be you know good timing for you um have a look at the front of it Yeah, and I think um, that's probably all to say at the moment. So yeah, thanks for following the other videos. Do leave a comment if you like heat pumps. Also, if you've got like problems or questions about heat pumps, uh, I'll try and do it. Um, more videos helping, helping people kind of learn about them a bit. Um, and yeah, do click subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.